How does MS affect my brain? Your brain communicates via electrical signals. Just like the electrical cables in your house, the wires in your brain need to be insulated. A fatty white substance called myelin provides this insulation for nerve fibres. This fatty layer helps signals to move quickly and smoothly along the fibres so parts of your brain and nervous system can talk to each other effectively. In multiple sclerosis, your body's immune system mistakes this myelin for a foreign body and attacks it, stripping away the layers of insulation. This leaves the nerve fibres open to damage and scarring, called lesions. In fact, multiple sclerosis means many scars. This demyelination of signalling cells means that messages can slow down or get a bit garbled. Depending on the location and extent of the damage, it may lead to symptoms that involve altered sensations, difficulty with movement or vision, and in about 50% of cases, cognitive symptoms that affect how we process and remember information. The links between MS pathology and cognition is not well understood, but we do know that, all other things being equal, people with MS who have what is called high cognitive reserve lose less cognitive function than those with low cognitive reserve. Having a brain healthy lifestyle can build up cognitive reserves, which is like investing money in your brain bank. Not everyone with MS will experience cognitive symptoms, but having that investment in cognitive reserve could pay off handsomely.